Welcome to an adventure like no other. We explore a stunning location. I get confused, even attacked. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> and with some special guests, plenty of laughs, a controversial contest, oh, and my van suffers a little malfunction. If you're not in, you can't win. Hang on a second, that's not my van. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> so yeah, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And I have Mr. Thomas Eaton here with me and that's actually his van, believe it or not. Some of you might actually know that van. Tom is in Ireland this week and I'm really happy to meet up with him in some, some of the beautiful spots we have. One is here in Connemara. Yes. Yes. So you've had how many days here? Uh, two or three, I've lost count. Okay, so he's after falling in love with Ireland. He's going to change his name to Thomas Mac Heaton or O Heaton or something along those lines. Yes. Yeah. But I'm not going to change my career. I'm not going to become an actor because... Yeah, that was obviously dangerous. I think his name is like Conor McGregor or something like that, the way he pushed me over there. Yeah, so yeah, thanks very much for joining. We're going to have a great shoot this evening. The light is looking wonderful. And also, over here, it's like a whole party because we have... Hello there, Hello folks. Hello there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Neil. This is Neil, yes. And Neil is also here, and we're going to shoot this area. Like I said, hopefully the light is going to be beautiful. Going to be I epic. think it is. But the area, wait till you see what it is. Actually, before I do anything, I'm going to show you some drone footage that I did earlier on to introduce to this stunning spot. Let's go. So this location is called uh, Derry Clare Lock and more specifically Pine Island. And the last time I was here actually was in February of 2023. And if you remember if you, with the channel long enough, you'll know that I called that I was here at the totally wrong time. Now today is not the right time, but it's still a nice time because we're getting some nice light and over here, we're getting a rainbow that keeps coming back and coming back. So this is probably around the sixth time that I've seen the rainbow. I managed to get a couple of shots from earlier on as well, um, which is stunning, right? Full arch rainbow as well, but not going over the top of the trees, but going from this side out. But yeah, I'll give you a look at those images first while I set up my first shot anyway here and look at this stunning light that we have. I think it's going to be great.
Right, we've had some really nice light actually, and we've got some nice light coming in here. As you can kind of see the background in this camera, there was a rain, um, it's not a storm, but a burst. Now, yeah, I'm looking at Neil, and Neil was looking at me going, what's he saying? Um, so there was a rain burst came through here, and we got nice light shining through that. So I popped on my long lens, and I took a couple of shots here of a peak, and it was nice enough actually, a nice bit of moody, misty atmosphere in it. And then that rain continued behind these trees, and I think I got nice layering on that. And now the sun is back out again, and now it's lighting up these here as well, and getting light in the background. But we are going to move on now up here to the second most photographed spot in this location, and we're going to get our own shots in relation to that. But I'll give you a look at shots that I've gotten now, talk to you when we get back up here in a moment. I've ventured over to the opposite side of this well-photographed island because he's running away because Thomas Heaton said that there is a nicer shot on this side of the island. Now, it was on a number of caveats. It was if we had light, if we had mood, and if we had flat water. And yeah, of course there is, yeah, it's a nice shot, but we don't have any of those. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shot, but I'm going to try and fake it till you make it. So I'm going to put on my 10 stop here, do a long exposure, and try and smooth out that water, getting a small bit of light on the clouds that are up there, but not much color. But I think, yes, he probably is right that if you had streaming light coming through here, um, it could work out quite well. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take that and we'll see how it looks. You tell me in the comments, actually, was he right? So we're not going to get any light, so we decided to have a bit of a contest, right? So Thomas Eaton, unbeknownst to most people, is the stone skipping champion from 1984. Yeah, when I was born. <laughs> yeah, he was born. <laughs> skip, yeah. Neil was the runner-up, and I've never stone skipped. So let's see how we get on with beginner's luck, right? So we'll allow the, the champion to go first. Oh, I'm going to go first. Have you, have you picked your weapon? I want it. All right. You're going to count. Okay, I have to count. The bounces. You ready? Oh no. One. <laughs> no, not even one. Not even one. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, 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 your turn. <laughs> Watch, no, I didn't get any. Ah, one. Oh. oh, so far, <laughs> two, two is the leader. That was terrible. So now all I have to do is kind of just kick it and hopefully I'll have to go. No interfering with the players, okay? Olympic rules. Olympic rules. Me with my broken back. Oh, Trey! Trey! I the fuck I Ah, yes, there we go.
good morning. So it is now 6.44. Sunrise is around 15 minutes. And when we checked on all of the forecasts, it said no clouds. But we've a lot of cloud, and particularly in the eastern direction. So I am not sure how this morning shoot is going to go. But we're here, time to give it a go. <laughs> or maybe sleep. Ah, let's go. It was going to be windy and it wasn't going to work but it's still nice nonetheless now these clouds that are up here are starting to catch a bit of light so hopefully that might be a small bit of a reward but you know again back here wrong time right place but i think it's still interesting nonetheless so the sun is going to be come up from over this direction here right behind tom's van and then coming in this way is the idea, but if you're not in, you can't win. So after probably an hour of waiting to see if we got any nice light on this sunning subject behind us, we got no light. So we decided that we were not going to shoot. So hung around there, Tom is gone. Uh, he's gone off now for more adventures. Uh, and I think he's gonna have a look at Father Ted's house, uh, as you do. So hopefully he knows if it's something near or something far. If you don't get that joke, watch Father Ted. But I was just about to leave and uh, started up the van, said goodbye to Neil, and I was about to hit the road as well myself, and the van started, but the steering wheel didn't turn. So of course I had to go frantically looking, see what the issue was, and it seems that my uh, power steering, what's it called, K belt, there you go, uh, has snapped. So I've got pieces hanging underneath the van. So I can't obviously drive, so I'm kind of stuck here but you know what a place to be stuck in I suppose uh, now I'm waiting on a tow truck to come and get me to bring me to Clifton and then hopefully they'll be able to replace that and then I can be back on the road but yeah so I'm kind of stranded here but you know what stranded in a stunning 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 area so what I might do I think I might take a couple of shots with the light in that direction anyway why not do you know what I mean you're going to be here, might as well take the shots. Neil is still here as well. Neil, come over here, boy. Neil's walking around like as if he's hiding. Oh, so yeah, Neil, Neil is still here. So yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Let's I, go. You know, we should do, uh, steal uh, Thomas Eaton's picture. I did it yesterday. Oh, did you yesterday? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, already I'm have that go, yesterday. I'm going to go steal that now. Yeah, apparently Thomas Eaton told us that he had found <laughs> the best composition for this entire place, which is at the back of the island without. It doesn't even include the yeah, island. Without including the trees, but uh, yeah, I took the shot. Uh, you've probably seen it if you've watched the last episode, because um, you know you have to kind of 
take it. Like before I beat everybody at the skipping contest, skipping stones, not skipping this way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of shots anyway here, see what it's like. Well, it was nice. But now the sun has gone again. But yeah, what a place to be stuck. Look at the cloud, look at the cloud above that. Could be interesting, yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. And then you know what? We'll see if we get the thing repaired as well, sure. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. something actually that I kind of want to have a bit of a rant about. You see this thing here, this big ugly telegraph pole, right? Runs across the middle here and then also a secondary set run right in front of the island. Now in Ireland we have quite strict laws from a planning permission point of view but obviously they never were considered here. I mean it's such a stunning beautiful area and you have telegraph poles running by it. Now, what does that matter, you might add? Well, it matters from a photography point of view because every shot that you will see from here, you have to take out the telegraph poles. And it's, you know, it can be easy, it can be difficult. You know, the latest technology makes these things easier, but again, it's an unnecessary step. It's absolutely horrible to have to look at this crap in every single image. So, yeah. Here's an image here with the telegraph poles uh, in the shot, uh, yeah, and we'll see what else we do. The light is interesting over there, so I might uh, try and break out the telephoto and again the telegraph poles in the shot. I get a shot of a telegraph pole with some beautiful light and mountains behind it. How about that? So an unexpected turn of events. Now, I am in the van at the moment and I have just been dropped off here to the, hopefully, repair uh, center. So it's confirmed anyway that it is the power steering belt that has gone. So we need to, number one, find a replacement belt and then number two, get it fixed. So could be worse. I mean, look, do you know what? The advantage of having the van now is that I can sit here. I'm still comfortable while I'm waiting for that decision. Can't get any photographs in relation to that. But what I can do is I can start editing. So this is my cushion that I have, but also it doubles as my desk. So I can put my laptop here. I can edit my video, uh, edit probably this video as well. And uh, yeah, I'll <laughs> see how we get on how much is this going to cost me how long time is it going to take me hopefully as i say i can get the uh, missing part and be back on the road and away but that's the thing you have to do with you know when you do a lot of traveling like i would do um for photography you know you are going to come across certain challenges with a vehicle you know it's par for the course in relation to it i've been very lucky thankfully so far with this van i only had one issue which was july of last year and now here in uh, September of 2024 so hopefully I don't have that many more um, but still at the same point it's still par for the course so yeah I'm going to start editing anyway here and I'll check back in give you an update on how this saga uh, plays out but I think it's going to be interesting anyway because it's different <laughs> but yeah hopefully not too expensive different Now, 
The time is 12.25, so three hours since I uh, was about to leave and I discovered I had my issue. But you know what, time hasn't been wasted because I'm here editing the video that you're watching right now. Plus, I am watching the live spacewalk, which is pretty interesting actually for, you know, the civilian, I suppose, or non-NASA uh, live spacewalk. So yeah, pretty interesting. Times are changing. The world is changing, but it's good now that I can utilize my time. Now, the guys have got the van up on a jack and they are working on it. So hopefully it all goes pretty straightforward. I'm optimistic. They seem to think it's pretty optimistic. So it is just the um, steering power steering belt uh, that's gone. So hopefully I'll be back on the road again and I can continue my journey. And just like that, I'm fixed and I'm back on the road. So it is now nearly 1 p.m. So I'm in complete harsh daylight. What I am going to do now, I think, is head back home. So it's been an interesting couple of days uh, of a trip, starting out down in Kerry when I found the place I'd never visited before. And I actually wonder, did that road do the damage? Did I do something on that road? I'm not sure. But I made it all the way from Kerry uh, up then here to Connemara uh, without any issue. And it was also great to meet up with Neil, who I featured on my channel a couple of years ago for photographers to watch out for. And of course, great to meet up with Thomas. Now, I'll see Thomas again on Sunday because he's in Ireland for a talk uh, and I'll be up there for that talk. Uh, and also Bernard, my good buddy, is also one of the guys talking. It's at the Irish, Life Fe Irish Light Festival, the big day on Sunday. So yeah, thank you very much as always for joining. I hope you enjoyed this. Not your typical photo shoot, but you know what, an accepted fact that comes with traveling so much for landscape photography. If it's your first time on the channel, be sure to join me next Wednesday because I do a behind the raw where I'll talk you through an edit from one of the images I've taken from today's shoot. And also, if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for making it this far. Uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Give me a like because it really helps the algorithm. Give me a comment if you want to tell me something and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Schlange Fall.